she was driving home from Wellington from the races and just been abandoned. And I said, what are you up to? And he goes, oh, not much. I said, well, we're going to town and I'll get you an engagement ring. We'll get married, eh? It took her a while to say yes. But... <laughs> what are we doing on Friday night? <laughs> My family's always been involved in horses. My dad went to the Olympics, show jumping. My mum was a show jumper. And my sister's just ridden for the last Olympics for Australia as well. When dad gave up show jumping, he started with race horses when I would have been about eight or nine. When he decided to retire, David had been doing a lot in the background. And so it was only natural that he came into partnership with me. And the way we went. Well, it all started with polo for me. He didn't tell me for ages. Because <laughs> 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 when I first met him, I said, oh, I don't really like people that are involved in horses. It didn't really bother me at all. It was just something I'd said in passing, and he sort of took it quite seriously not to say anything about the polo. <laughs> Emily's the boss, I think that's pretty easy to know. Oh, no, I think we're, we've probably got a good working partnership. We sort of have our different roles and it's sort of been like that for quite a long time. You get to work with your um, best friend and do every day and talk to them and have a real common goal together and that's what makes me get up in the morning, that's for sure. So we have three girls, all three are very involved. They live and breathe racing as well. Definitely got a next generation coming through. We thought as a future for them, if we want to carry on with horse training, we're probably better off moving to Australia. In New Zealand, there's not many race meetings, and yeah, it's, it's quite limited, whereas every day of the week, there's races here and so many options. I think we've probably got a new lease on life a little bit. <laughs> Pretty excited about getting Elephant back for the spring. Him and David have always got on really well right from the start. Even to work him in that, he's very explosive and wants to do everything very quickly. And I think you see that in the, in the way he races too. He's always competitive no matter what. It's got me feeling good. He had bone chips taken out before the All-Star Mile. He's done everything right all the way through with his rehab. He's a lot stronger than he's been. Be fresh and he's been too. He's quite a handful. He's pretty, pretty ready. <laughs> he does curl his lip up like an elephant. He can be so determined and stubborn, and I think that's why he's got those finishes he had and that will to win. Because if he doesn't want to do something, he is just like an elephant. He, <laughs> there's no way you can ask him nicely and he'll know. 